Right, Malika, what goes on the y-axis label here, please? Neither. Lily, what goes on the y-axis label, please? Come on, we've done these before. Lily? Uh, Omarch. Mary, what goes on the y-axis label? Very good. Price. Little pound sign on it. Yes? Uh, well, a bit more than that. No, more than that. No, well, is it just, we're, we're not just looking at demand here. Yeah? No. Because that would be the factor market anyway. Yes? Thank you. It's the quantity demanded and supplied. And then you're going to draw your demand curve, like so. And your supply curve, like so. S1, D1. Is that okay, Nimra? No, Daniel. Dan the man. The factor market, the builder, they, they don't have a price, they get a... Right, so the, we're talking the wage on this one, not price, pound sign. And then here, Daniel, we're talking quantity of what? Quantity of, yeah, labor. Demanded and supplied, exactly. Okay, so you must not mix up your labels on these diagrams. It's very important. But again, the same thing. So supply of labor is like that. Except we put an, a little L on it, like that. So SL1. <clears throat> Sorry, viewers. And then we put the demand for labor on as well. But again, it's DL1. Correct. Silverlink, what's that point called? Very good. <clears throat> so that's equilibrium. And we must always annotate it with our dashed lines to show wage and quantity. So this will be W1. That's where we're starting from. And this will be Q1. Sophia, what's this point called? So that's our equilibrium again. Same thing. Identify prices and quantities this time. So this will be P1 and this will be Q1. Now beside each of these, you need we're going to do um, a little description of what's going on. So beside this one, I'm going to say number one, initial EQ, equilibrium. W1, Q1. W1, Q1. And then over here, initial equilibrium, P1, Q1. What? 
You don't see past his head. It's what, sorry? Is it the, is it my uh, information, portable information mobile device? No, it's not anymore, it's just a scanner. Okay. Right, point two. I'm just going to tell you that this is what's happening. The demand for houses increases. Now, if that happens, <coughs> Jasmine with a J, you caught my eye at the right time there. What, would ha what will have to happen on this diagram? So there's more demand. So it will change, very good. And how, why? Um, why? Because the demand is rising. What? Because the demand is rising. It's like, so the demand will, the equilibrium be up here somewhere. And therefore to get that equilibrium, Lucy, uh, to get that equilibrium, what do we have to do to the demand curve? Shift it, uh, Omar. Can you set up? Correct. So we're going to shift it to the right, parallel to D one. So we're going D two. What's the next thing you do, Malika? Yeah. yeah. Correct. Thank you. So we're going to put our new equilibrium points on. So this is now P2, Q2, <coughs> so you need to indicate what's happened to price, Ben what's happened to the price, it's gone up. Right, so you need to show that, so you just put a little arrow here, show that the price is going up. And what's happened to the quantity of uh, demand and supply of labour, Caitlin? Um. Here, no, sorry, the quantity, sorry, I asked you the wrong question. What's happened to the quantity of houses supplied and demanded? It Correct. Because we've gone from... Exactly. So you need to show it, and again, another arrow that way, Q1 to Q2. So we need to explain this along here. So we're going to say number three, demand <coughs> shifts, excuse me, ladies and gents, demand shifts right. I've run out of this space here, I'll have to write it over here. Number four. Thank you, Mary. A new equilibrium is formed at P2, Q2. Louis, what's happened to the price of houses? Correct. So point number five, price rises, P1 to P2. Point number six, Tala, quantity demanded. Yeah, it goes up. Are you noting these things? So you've got all these things noted. Right, well, can you note them down then, please? Because yeah. you, you think that you know everything that we're doing here, but you don't. <coughs> and then number seven, quantity supplied, Caitlin, goes... 
Okay, is that more or less than Q1? Correct. It has to be, doesn't it? Because there's the origin, so you're moving away from the origin. So it's more. So quantity supplied also increases. 